Matthew Celesta with Maxfields, and we're here today to have our fourth lesson in our Work with Nature series, which is insect control. At Maxfield, we don't think of insects as pests, but rather another member in our garden's community. By having a large diversity of plants and soil microbes, we let nature do the work when it comes to controlling our insect populations. By properly using crop rotation and companion planting, we might lose some of our crops to insects, but the, but the loss should be minimal. Certain insects like certain plants more than others, and other crops can help deter insects. Take onions, for example. They can be so aromatic that just a few planted around the garden can keep pesky bugs at bay. You can also plant certain perennials and annuals that promote beneficial insects that are predatory to certain aggressive bugs. Marigolds is a great example of this. Their flowers will attract hoverflies, which in return can control aphid egg colonies in their larval stage. Now when it comes to individual crops, a healthy plant is a resilient plant that can fight against pest infestations on its own. By correctly using our Maxfield soil products, you will give each plant the best chance to compete against these persistent bugs by optimizing nutrient uptake, buffering, buffering pH, and sheltering roots from extreme conditions. You can also give a localized immunity boost by applying compost tea to the bottom of the leaves where insects tend to hang out. Please refer to our compost tea video to learn how to make your own compost tea using our Maxfields planting leaves. But even with healthy plants and a diverse garden, you still might find some persistent insects. The best thing you can do is know your enemy. First thing you want to do is identify each insect that seems to be harming your plants or crops. If the insects are big enough you can have the, and you have the time, you can manually remove these insects by hand. But make sure that you remove them far enough away so they can't come back or send them to that big old garden in the sky. You can also make simple sprays made out of natural ingredients like onions, peppers, and soap. Today we're going to make a simple spray recipe using garlic and soap, but the more research you can do about a particular insect, the better it will guide you in finding the correct natural spray you should be using for each particular insect. Okay, let's get all of our tools together. Today you're going to need a quarter pound of fresh garlic, two tablespoons of mineral oil, three-fourths of an ounce of natural soap powder, 16 ounces of water, a knife, a bowl, a mason jar with a lid, a strainer, and your spray bottle. The first step is to chop your garlic into small pieces and mix it together with the rest of your ingredients in the bowl. Now you can transfer your contents of the bowl into the mason jar, screw on the lid, and let it sit for about two days. At this point, you're going to want to strain out all the chunks and pour the liquid back into the bowl. Once you have the new liquid in the bowl, you can transfer it over to your spray bottle and start applying it to the affected areas of the plant that show insect infestation. The last technique we suggest is using a trap. A great trap we like to use is two damp pieces of cardboard. During the day, certain pests will burrow in between the pieces of cardboard in, to get out of the heat. Before the sun goes down, go back to the damp cardboard and squash them. If you are faint of heart, we do not recommend looking between the two pieces of cardboard before or after you smash it up. And please note that this is an extreme case for insect infestation. Our goal is to work with nature, not against it. And and remember, not all insects are bad. Go over to our Facebook page and tell us what insects you like to see in your garden. I mean, who doesn't like a butterfly? And if you have any issues identifying or controlling insects, please post comments or photos on our wall. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos on establishing our roots, working with nature, and celebrating the harvest. You can always find us on Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. And don't forget to sign up to our newsletter at www.maxfieldsorganics.com. So until next time, I'm Matthew Celesta. Happy farming.